Hi boys and girls, Dr. J here again. Today we're going to drip a couple of drops of plutonium into the pass-through to which I have cranked it up to 1.21 gigawatts so we can travel back in time to a day when people actually took pride in their cigarettes. Quality tobacco was an important thing back in the 50s and today we're going to travel back and check out some of the old school way of doing things. Hang on. Wow, that was a trip. Anyway, we're here to check out the old school juices from Word Up E-Cigarettes. And in their lineup today, they have Marlboro Reds, the Paul Malls, one of my personal favorites, Chesterfield, American Spirit, and my all-time favorite, Lucky Strikes. These are exclusive to Word Up E-Cigarettes. And uh, from what I understand from talking to Jeff at Word Up, these are uh, exclusive to him, that nobody else can try them, have them. And he also said that it's much easier to simulate old school flavors than it is to uh, simulate the modern flavors, which have very little taste at all to them. So we're going to start with the more common one, the Marlboro Red. Give that a try. Nice paper production. Tastes very similar to all the rest of the Marlboros you get. Maybe a little bit, a little bit stronger uh, taste flavor to it. So I kind of like, I, I kind of like that one better. Um, we're going to save my favorite to last, though. How about that? Let's see what we got next. Ah, oh, here's a venerable old brand, Chesterfields. And Chesterfields originally were an unfiltered cigarette, too. And like I said, uh, unfiltered are much easier to replicate flavor-wise than uh, regular filtered cigarettes. Whew, son of a gun. Tastes like a Chesterfield, I swear to you. Very distinct Turkish tobacco <coughs> tobacco flavor. Very nice, very nice. I think uh, everybody would be happy with those. Let's see what we got next here. Oh, Old Gold. Now I remember buying Old Gold uh, uh, candy cigarettes when I was a kid. I guess that was pretty target marketing, wasn't it? Got us all us kids hooked on those things. Let's try the old gold. Much milder, much milder. There's still that hint of that Turkish tobacco. Slightly sweet, very good, very good. Uh, getting closer and closer to tasting like an analog. Let's see what we have next. Oh, we already tried that one. What do we have here? Ah, this is American Spirit. American Spirit is not a brand that I'm familiar with. It's a little bit lighter in color than the other ones. So let's see if we can taste that real quick. Sort of like a cross between the Chesterfield and the Marlboro. Not quite as strong as the Chesterfield. And a little bit more of the marlboro -y kind of flavor. Let's check out one of my absolute favorites. It was my dad's cigarette that he grew up smoking, uh, or that I grew up with him smoking. It's uh, the Paul Malls. And you notice I got a larger bottle of that because I much prefer the flavor. Now 
and I can already tell you what this tastes like. It's a milder of the flavors. Slightly sweet. It's an interesting little um, flavor to it. Uh, it. It's my absolute favorite. I, I like it. Now we're going to try the coolest of the cool, boys and girls. If I can find it, this is it. The ones that you see guys rolled up in their sleeves back in the 50s. The infamous Lucky Strikes. I remember seeing these commercials on baseball games when I was a kid, watching them with my grandpa. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that is so smooth. It's even smoother than the pale metal. Very nice, very nice flavor. I would highly recommend this one. This may be my new favorite right here. All right, let's get serious for a minute. We all know that there is no way that you can simulate exactly a uh, an analog cigarette with juice, but this is about as close as you're going to get, uh, or at least as close as I've seen so far to the tobacco-y, has a slight Turkish flavor, a little strange, strange flavor that you used to with the old school uh, uh, unfiltered cigarettes. Um, so even if you're coming off of uh, you know the bland tasting analogs of today like the Marlboro Lights and so forth, I think this might uh, sort of give you a little bit more of the, the flavor that you're looking for. So uh, go over there and uh, order up some, check it out and see what you think. Um, I would highly recommend it. I think it's an excellent buy. And until then, this is Dr. J signing off.